Hi, Julie here with Just Plain Fun, and today I'm going to show you how I make paper bead sheets for my website at jpfun.com. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a blank 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper here. And if you're ever anywhere else in the world, just use A4. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And I like to set the background, is what I like to do for printing my images. And so I'm going to go up to page design, that's the very first thing I do. I click on that and then and that's over on the upper left corner sort of and then once I do that then I go over to background which is over on the upper right corner I click on that then I go to more backgrounds because those to me are boring but anyway I go to more backgrounds and then here I'm going to choose picture or texture fill and I'm going to choose my picture source which is insert here and then I use a from a file on my computer if you were to go to online pictures just remember if you use someone else's image please respect the copyright laws and don't sell them without permission or even the beads that you make without permission if the image is not yours so I'm going to go ahead choose from a file and I'm going to go to the folder where I keep my images for bead sheet making. I'm going to grab one that I made myself. And I am going to go ahead with this tile here. What it is, it's, it's made from the same granny square called Copeland Square that this star is made from and this really makes a nice looking bead sheet so I'm going to grab that one I'm going to click insert and here I like to have a little bit more control and choose how it's going to be be displayed on the background so I tile my picture as a texture that puts it all over the sheet and if I show it to you at a hundred percent you're going to see the detail it looks beautiful but I want to align this so it's centered on the sheet of paper so I'm going to choose alignment center and so everything will be centered it'll look wonderful and even so I'm going to click OK and if you take a look at that it looks incredible and I love the way that looks but if you really want to see what it looks like at a hundred percent you go up to view and you choose 100 percent and that enlarges it and that looks really really good so I'm gonna I'm happy with that and uh, if I were to print this on paper today I would first I'd save it so I go up to file save as and then I'm gonna save it in my bead sheets and then I'm gonna put Copeland Square Kaleidoscope alright and then I'm going to choose save and I've already got it so I'm going to go ahead and save it again and then if I go to print it and I want to print it borderless like on photo paper cardstock plain paper I go to file print and then see how this has borders around it I want to get rid of that before I print it so my printer is capable of borderless pin printing like photographs so I'm going to go to printer properties I'm going to choose borderless and then I'm going to tell the printer to use photo paper that way I can use whatever paper I'm actually using alright so I'll click OK and see now it got rid of those little white borders and then before I go ahead and print it I'm going to save it again and go to print and it's ready to print even borderless because the next time you decide to print this it'll be already borderless and all you have to do is print and I'm not going to bother printing this today because I just I don't really need to print it out and make beads with it this video was to show you how to go ahead and make a bead sheet with it if you want to alter this and design it strictly for making two beads what you could do is you can block out part of this background by inserting a white box so how you do that is you go to insert in the upper left corner you go to shapes 
and click and then I use my recently used shapes but if you don't have a rectangle up there use under basic shapes a rectangle and then you take your rectangle and I, up here I have a ruler so I'm able to control how big the box is going to be and I want this to start at an inch and a half so I start it here and I go down to the bottom left bottom right corner excuse me and see how it's blue that's the default color you can change this this also has a border if you can see that right around here so I want to get rid of that border and I'm going to tweak the size I know that I have um, an inch and a half in so that brings me to seven inches yeah <laughs> and I also know that the height is 11 inches so I'm going to go ahead and right click on it on the mouse and then click on format auto shape you're going to choose your color is white and you want to make sure that you choose white and not no color and you don't want any transparency you're blocking out the background and then on your line color you're going to choose no outline unless you want a line and then you choose the color that you want and then you're going to click on layout and if you want it to be at an inch and a half from the left edge then just type in inch and a half on the horizontal from the top left corner and then the vertical you set at zero from the top left corner okay and then the size you want to make sure you know what size you need it to be you need it to be 11 inches and you need the width to be actually seven inches there and that should be perfect to get it um, lined up on the page the way you want it and that will completely block out everything except for that left strip on your sheet right here and then you can go ahead save it as a new file and you'll be good to go there is another thing that you could do actually and you could actually duplicate this page and make a whole bunch of them um, in, in different configurations so this is the technique that I use um, when I'm just doing a bead sheet for myself but when I'm doing bead sheets bundles for my website I have a special program I wrote just for this and it makes it really easy for me but anyway the purpose of this video is to show you how to make your own bead sheets using Microsoft Office 365 publisher and that's it for today if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like if you like the video and until next time thank you for watching and have a great day goodbye